Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Disney Sorcerer's Arena video. Now, the game's now reached 50% of its pre-registration, so I I still don't actually know when it's going to come out. Um, as soon as I know, guys, I obviously will update you in a video that I do, but yeah, I still have no idea when this game's actually meant to come out. Um, it's the same with the Lego Legacy game, I play a little bit as well. I'm still unsure when that game's meant to come out. All I know is that it, it is pretty soon. Um, because most of the games now have all the pre-register bonuses going on and everything like that, so... We might see it released soon, hopefully. So, right, what am I focusing on today? God, that's so bad. Those are so bad. So, okay, let's take a look. So I've got Ariel maxed out now, as you all saw yesterday. So now it's, I'm hoping to get Buzz done by the uh, by the end of like this week or next week. Two more there. Because it, it's quite nice. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's fair enough to get his shards. It's not extremely difficult, but it's also not extremely easy to get his shards. So what I'm going to do is I might just do some story missions today, guys. Because I haven't actually ever played the story mode on um, like whilst I do videos. And it's, you, you can normally get some decent stuff when you do the story mode. Let's see if there's anyone I need to donate to first. Nope, nothing's popped up. Let's have a look. No, I don't really have too many at the moment. Oh, we've got another invite. So like I said, guys, if you want to send me a friend's request, I've put the link on my community page. So if you subscribe and go over there, you can drop me a friend's request. Um, lovely. I've already got 436 more diamonds, but obviously they've got rid of the syndrome drop now that I was um, opening. So there's not there's not really too much more I can do there. Obviously, the best way to get diamonds is from the um, from the crate with uh, about the friends and stuff. That's the best crate you can get diamonds on, hands down. Uh, this one here, the loyalty chest, because like you can get up to 100. And I, I normally, I normally tend to do pretty well from this crate, so that is quite an important thing to take note of. That I normally always seem to get around like 80 from that crate. And it's the money signing, so you want to make sure that you um, smash through this every single time. I wonder if I can. Or is this the one that I've done three times in a row and every time I do it, I die? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Right. 55,000. Great. So you can get that three times over, guys. So it's so important. There we go. Lovely. So that's one of the most important ones that you can do. Like, guys, I mean it. That is one of the most important levels that you can do. So just remember that. Every single time it comes to doing it, that, that is the most important level that you can do. So you need to make sure that you make the most of that every single day. Because coins get difficult to buy. Now, I'm I'm doing what um, someone recommended me to do. Is that um, probably one of the best things you can do is save up your diamonds and buy that every time. And just keep popping that. Because what, what you find out is that... Using diamonds to get characters in this game is horrific for how bad the drops are. Now, I've done two Syndrome openings, and you probably saw how terrible the drops were when I was doing that. So, this is kind of just to, to bring that back a little bit, and be able to use that money on better things than doing fluke drops. Because if I buy if I buy that 1. million gold, it will allow me to get Buzz immediately up to seven stars and have 300,000 left over to mess around with syndrome so it's one of those quite important things really that we make sure that um we do or we basically do oh, i've got one one syndrome there so it's important to make sure that you are opening up those crates so i'll request my refreshers in there then i'll go into the club exchange request my refresh in there and then i like to buy my big bad wolf shards as well guys let's go Great. I will always check the shop to see if there is anything decent, but in this case, there wasn't. 
three more of those. You do get a nice small amount of gold for just going through that stuff. So yeah, I want to do, basically just want to spend the rest of the video guys smashing through a bit of the story mode. Now, um, let's go to villains campaign because I'm a little bit further behind on the villains campaign. So here, and let's just see how far through we can go. Um, I Oh, okay, now I know why I'm behind on the villainous campaign, because I literally have no useful characters. Big Bad Wolf will become one of my useful characters when I level them up. So, I think, for now, let's get involved with the Heroes campaign, which I know I can probably go through quite well. So, let's have a look and, let's have a look and see how far we can go through this. I get him in as well. Cool. So let's do a couple of these levels and see what the story mode is actually like, because, like I said, I haven't really played the story mode much. Uh, it's only against three. Oh, okay, yeah. They're all more or less... That was because obviously Ariel hit them. And Ariel was very maxed out. I was hoping that was going to ricochet. But it, it shouldn't really be too bad. Yeah, because luckily they're all just hitting Ariel. So, and she's just got loads of health, so it doesn't really matter. Let's get rid of... Just do the slam on that guy. I, I do like that little camera angle. It's, I still find it a little bit odd that um, like uh, they kind of changed the way this game works. It is, I think it's just a little bit strange. It's taunt so Sally can take some hits. I like that move in now. <laughs> that does so much as three, six, three, six, three. That is a mad amount of damage, guys. Yes, there we go. That was nice and easy. Let's just let's just keep pushing. Let's see how far we can actually get through these. Because that was quite easy. I was expecting a little bit of a challenge. Now, here we go. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, so they return all the damage. Not by a lot, though. She's probably going to instantly kill one of those. Yeah. And then I'll slam on him over there. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, they're a bit useless to be honest with you, because they, they don't really return enough damage to make it to make you worry at all. Oh my god, I hope we killed him. Yes, I was gonna I was about to say then, how have we not killed that guy? Let's take out some of the little boys first. Great, uh I wonder what the that one actually do. Is that the oh okay that just broke his defense? I thought that made him go invisible. Oh, she didn't instantly kill one of them. There you go. Let's just let's just trot through him one by one here. Great, give him a smack. Uh, I don't really need to use the heal. I should go to that guy. Yes, it's chained off as well. See, that does quite a lot of damage. Gun. Fireball. Ah, oh, there's actually a challenge to use a meteorite. So yeah, I mean that is quite important that sometimes there are challenges to use certain things. So there, there we go, rinsed them out. So that that was that was relatively easy as well, to be honest with you. But I, I guess it's because obviously I am quite overpowered with um, my characters, but there's not too much of an like effort at all really when it comes to um going through this oh you do actually get smacked down there you get locked off and you need to be player 48 so okay they do add kind of then 57 in there to finish it off okay that's that's fine i've actually more or less finished i'm gonna freestyle this one just because it's gonna annoy me because i haven't freestyled this one yet but at the moment these missions seem very very easy and also i'm upgrading syndrome and big bad wolf for my villain team so they'll be they'll be useful going down there. Because none of these people have a great amount of health to be honest with you. Bang. That used to be so much better that move. When I kept spinning him around. And just draining, draining, draining. 
Let's get rid of that guy first. Yeah, he's gone. I want to get rid of the big pirates first. So my other characters are kind of okay. Like, they're not going to die immediately. So, which is good, because... <laughs> anyway. I spoke way too soon there, I think. Because I just got absolutely rinsed. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I just wanted to do a little bit of the story mode. Just a little bit of a random gameplay today, to be honest with you. So, guys, one of the main things I wanted to tell you about the story mode and why it's so important to do is because as you're going through, you hit these chests here and you actually get bare items in those chests. So just keep that in mind for the villains campaign and the heroes campaign and the grand campaign that as you go through, you are going to get these nice chests throughout all the missions chest there so you can see I, I just haven't really played the grand campaign um there's not really any reason why i haven't done it it's because i've been using all the energy and efforts to get buzz up and then when i've got buzz up i'm also going to go all the way through here to get to syndrome and i can start to do syndrome every day and i want to see this big bad wolf and then i can go through and get big bad wolf every day so i've got a nice chain of characters which i can start off with and they're actually semi-decent to unlock but anyway guys thank you for watching today's video if you enjoyed it, crush the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one.